Hey, what is up? This is Jacob Radcliffe here, your Extendly coach for tips and tricks. So today's video, I'm going to teach you a little secret that I know about the launch pad and permissions and how to maybe limit access to high level and only show certain things and prevent people from adding other people with higher permission sets. So let's get straight into it and what this is and why I'm showing this to you. So normally in high level, you have uh, administrators who have access to the entire platform and system and they can do everything you can do. And so if you're using the SAS mode configurator, you have a lot more control. But let's say you were not using SAS mode. Well, how do you control permissions? This is a question that's asked a million different times. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can get around this if you're not using SAS mode. So the first thing you want to do is go to the staff of the sub account that you're trying to limit permissions to. And let's just pick this, um, this first one right here and go to user permissions. Um, now a bunch of these are already turned off, uh, but by default, let's just say that they have all these different permissions and different things. Now, of course, you can come in here and just manually limit these permissions. Um, and then let's just leave that one turned on. Um, and so let's just make it look a little bit normal. So from this screen, let's just say that the typical person that you just don't want them to be able to do things like um, build a funnel. Um, let's say you don't want them to build a website, you don't want them touching websites at all, but you want them to be able to see everything else in high level. You just don't want them messing with the websites that you built. That's a pretty common one, right? Now, the issue is if they are an administrator down here in the user roles, so if their user role is admin, then they can just come in here and just flip these toggles right back on. Well, that's a problem, right? So how do you limit that? Well, one of the ways to get around that is to actually disable settings entirely. So if you have settings entirely off, and let's say you just don't want them to access uh, funnels and websites, let's just click save on this guy. Um, then, of course, they're not gonna see the sites page right here. This, these two things will be blank. And so they're not gonna be able to edit those things. They're also not gonna have the entire settings button at all. So that means that you would have to assist them with onboarding those things. But if you find your customer frequently going in there and messing things up, um, and this is just a great way to help limit their access. So what is the secret? Why did I show you that? Maybe you already know this thing. The secret is the launch pad. Right up here on the launch pad, way down here at the bottom, it says quickly add one or more team members. The new users will have the same permissions like yours except the ability to add new users. So what this means is if you limit the admin and you say that the admin themselves cannot view sites and funnels, well, guess what? If you click add right here, then when they add new people, those people can also not see sites and funnels. So it's a great little tool to be able to limit permissions or maybe just control access to things. So that is the secret. You can just instruct them that if they want to add new users, they have to put their email address here. Super easy tool. So that is that. That is my tips and tricks for this video. If you got some value out of this, make sure you drop a comment down below. And as always, with Extendly, we are hyper-focused in helping you on your high-level journey. Thanks, and we will see you in the next one. To learn more about high-level in a structured format, check out the GHLAcademy.com by Extendly. We promise to cut your overwhelm for learning high-level, just visit thegHLacademy.com.